How to get Access Overlay. In this video, we're going to be going over how to install Access Overlay, its features, and the best ways to use it in VRChat. Let's get started. To start off, head to the Steam store and type in Access Overlay, or you can press the link in the description and you will purchase it. It is about $10. Once purchased, it will be in your library and just go ahead and install and head into SteamVR on your headset. To get started, head to your library and I just went to All VR and press and launch your XS Overlay. Press the top option, launch in SteamVR Overlay, and then you will get a notification saying you opened it. And now if you turn your wrist up and you will see your wristwatch. So let's go over what each of these things mean and then we'll head into VR chat. Starting on the bottom, it will let you know your equipment's battery percentage. If you have index controllers, it will also say their battery. In the middle, we of course have the time. This one right here opens up into more options. We will go over these in a little bit. Your second one is connected to your Spotify, so if you have some music, you can play it. And lastly, in the middle section here, it will let you know your system preferences. It just has your all that stuff, FPS, GPU, all of that. Now let's go back to this layer mode and open everything up. This first one allows you to open up your overlay. Now with your right controller joystick, you can control the size of this so you can bring it closer or farther. So you can just adjust it however you want. And down here you have your settings and then you can open up a specific window and then the last one is the exit button. Next we have the reset space. I wouldn't recommend messing with this if you have a quest. And next is the keyboard. So I'm opening up my overlay again and just like the overlay you can adjust the keyboard, the distance and on the side we have the settings and you can even change the sound of the keyboard to creamy or clicky. Heading back to our wristwatch, let's head to the settings one, which is the little gear. Here you can have a different bunch of things. So we have general, and then this is all about your overlays. So the screens that you're popping up, you can change the speed, all kinds of stuff. Just spend some time and mess around with it. Next, you could change the watch. You could do 24 hour format. You can change what hand you want it on. You could change the opacity. Then if you had to theme, this is getting a little fun. You could change it to the light theme. Moving on, down below you could change how bright the color is and below that you can actually change the actual color. You could change it to red, purple, whatever you want. You'll have to think back to elementary school on how colors go together. Next is notifications and just your environment. And down here is the nightlight. I'm sure it's better for you at night. No idea what Easter eggs is. No idea. And lastly, you can get connected to their Discord, their Twitter, Steam, anything you might need to help with. Now let's hop into VRChat and see the best ways to use Access Overlay. Alright, once you appear, you may not see it, but once you turn your wrist, there it is. Same as before, we got our music here and all of our system stuff, FPS. Let's open up an overlay here. There we go, and then I'll just get my keyboard open. The keyboard also allows you to do alt tab or control v for copy and paste and let's open up a couple overlays it's really nice you could change it to a specific window so that way if you're filming something on obs you can easily look at what you're doing other things you might do you could pop up spotify change the song you could even go to youtube or any of that you can google search you can pull up discord, you can type in messages, you can send them. Overall, Access Overlay makes VRChat a lot easier and really fun to use. I hope you enjoyed this video and you're able to figure out how to get Access Overlay. Thank you for watching, I'll see you again soon.